Ernestine Shepard. She's 86 years old. She's a successful bodybuilder with two world records and so much public recognition that she has been praised by celebrities like Beyonce herself. Make sure to stay with us until the end as we dive deep into the ups and downs of Ernestine's life, including the tragedies that almost ended her bodybuilding career and the workout routines and diets that turned her into a two-time world record winner. Ernestine, popularly known as Ernie, was born on June 16, 1936. However, she spent most of her time at work. Ernie tried to be with her family as much as possible, meaning she had little time or energy to go to the gym or work out. Eventually, she lost interest in physical activities. It wasn't until she went bikini shopping with her sister Velvet one day that she started to feel self-conscious about her body, which was a sentiment that Velvet shared as well. But according to Ernestine, she and her sister laughed and joked around, realizing how out of shape they were until reality hit them and they decided to do something about it. Soon after that, Ernie and Velvet started their fitness lives by going to aerobics class together and slowly increasing the intensity of their workouts until Velvet decided to become a bodybuilder. Ernie was quick to follow in her sister's footsteps. They were both doing well in that regard and their bodies were in the best shape of their lives to the point where they discussed becoming competitive by competing in local bodybuilding tournaments. Still sadly, tragedy struck and Ernie's fitness career was almost over. Ernie's sister Velvet suddenly died of a brain aneurysm and Ernie was so depressed about it that she completely stopped going to the gym and had difficulty focusing on anything that wasn't mourning her sister. Ernie spent months like this, with seemingly no end to her sorrow, until her remaining family and friends finally convinced her that Velvet would have wanted her to continue the path they had both started. With this newfound motivation, Ernie returned to the gym with full force and only one goal, to make her sister proud. And so she did. After months of pushing herself beyond her limits, Ernie started making a name for herself in the bodybuilding world. And not only did she win a lot of tournaments throughout the years, but she also ended up breaking the world record for the oldest competitive female bodybuilder two years in a row in 2010 and 2011. Ernie's achievements in bodybuilding have become so popular that she was also briefly included in a musical film called Black as King that was written, directed, and produced by Beyonce herself as part of the promotional campaign for the live-action Lion King movie. Now let's dive into Ernie's workout routines to see how she became a prominent bodybuilder. Ernie wakes up every day at 3 a.m. and runs at least 10 miles or more with no exceptions and her personal 5K time record is 28 minutes. Besides her morning runs, Ernie goes to the gym up to four times a week to do full body weightlifting exercises for about 45 minutes to an hour daily. Ernie's commitment to this routine allowed her to have a very successful bodybuilding career and to complete multiple marathons before she decided to completely retire from competitive tournaments. If waking up at 3 a.m. just so you have enough time to work out multiple times a day sounds like something crazy that maybe Sylvester Stallone would do in a Rocky movie, that's because Sylvester Stallone is one of Ernie's greatest inspirations, which she hopes to meet one day. Luckily, Ernie cooks her morning eggs instead of drinking them raw as Rocky does, so you don't have to go that far either. Speaking of morning eggs, let's talk about Ernie's diet now. Ernie has a very bland diet and makes sure to eat at least five to six times a day, usually waiting between two and three hours between meals. Ernie's goal is to consume at least 120 grams of protein daily, and she makes sure to count every calorie she ingests, even though she's no longer competitive. When it comes to the specific food she eats, Ernie's typical breakfast is 10 scrambled egg whites before her morning run, and then throughout the rest of the day, her meals are composed of foods like plain brown rice with no salt, chicken breasts, and of course, a lot of vegetables. Ernie spent years perfecting her diet with the help of her nutritionist when she was actively participating in bodybuilding tournaments, and to this day, her diet remains the same. She doesn't even have cheat meals at all because, according to her, she hasn't craved sweets or fatty foods for decades now, which is something even Rocky himself would envy about her, if we're being honest. Another great inspiration for Ernie is Michelle Obama, who has been working relentlessly to reduce the cases of childhood obesity in the United States for quite a few years already. As an advocate of healthy eating, Ernie hopes that one day she'll be able to help Michelle Obama in her quest to improve the diets of all children and their families. If you want to know more about Ernie's inspirations, workout regimes, and much more, you'll be glad to know she also wrote a book called Determined, Dedicated, Disciplined to be fit that has been very successful so far. 
Sadly, even though Ernie says she's living the best years of her life, not everything has been smooth sailing. Her husband of 67 years and biggest fan in the world, Colin Shepard, passed away in 2019, leaving Ernie a widower with a son and grandson to remember her husband by. Colin and Ernie were inseparable, and Colin supported her endlessly in every one of her endeavors, to the point that he would constantly joke around saying how hard it was to keep all these men away from his beautiful and successful wife. After Colin's death, Ernie started dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression again. But if there's something she learned after her sister died so many years ago, it is that now more than ever, she has to keep at it so she can honor their memories and make them proud. Now that Ernestine is 86 years old and retired from professional tournaments, she spends her time working as a certified professional trainer at her local gym and telling her incredible and heartwarming story to anyone who will listen.